Hi, my name is Jackie Perez, and I'm doing my close reading on A Splash of Red, The Life and Art of Horace Pippin. It is written by Jen Bryant and is a bibliography of Horace Pippin. On February 22, 1888, the town of Westchester, Pennsylvania, celebrated a holiday. That day, is the same in the same town, Daniel and Christine Pippin celebrated the birth of their son, Horace. Horace grew fast, so fast that his mother could barely keep up with the mending. He'll be a giant some day, the neighbors would say. Grandma Pippin smiled at Horace's long legs and big hands. She figured the neighbors were right. Grandma's hands were big too, rough and scarred from her slave days in Virginia. But they were just fine for giving Horace hugs. The biggest part of you, she told him, is inside, where no one can see. Reading this as a historian... I would look at the date, February 22nd, 1888. It's in the first sentence. Um, I would notice that that was the birthday of George Washington. We also know that his grandmother was a slave in Virginia. We also know his grandmother was a slave, which could influence his artwork. When Horace was three years old, the Pippins moved to Goshen, New York. As the family grew larger, everyone helped out. Horace put his big hands to work. He fetched flour for his mother. He sorted laundry with his sisters. He played with his baby brother. He held the horse while the driver delivered milk. At night, he piled wood for the stove and arranged dominoes so his grandmother could play. Then, if he could find a scrap of paper and a piece of charcoal, he drew pictures of what he'd seen that day. Horace loved to draw. He loved the feel of the charcoal as it slid across the floor. He loved looking at something in the room and making it come alive again in front of him. He loved thinking about a friend or a pet, then drawing them from a picture in his mind. On the fourth page, it describes that Horace liked to look at something and draw what he saw. Um, this gives me an idea of what his paintings or his artwork is like. Um, he looks at something and replicates it. On these next pages, I look at what um, Horace does to help out with the family. Um, he fetched flour for his mother. Fetched might be a difficult word, so I went ahead and looked that up. This means go for something or someone and then bring back. This paragraph shows Horace being a good family person. He is strong and helps out in a lot of ways. The next um, page really focuses on him starting to do artwork all on his own. He has no outside... Um, he has no outside education of art. He's a self-learner and picked up everything by himself. So I know that that is what his um, artwork would portray. Um, it says that he loved the feel of charcoal as it slid across the floor. Some students may not have experienced charcoal and have used it in art. So I went ahead and looked that up too. Charcoal is black porous and is used in artwork. It also says he loved looking at something and then drawing it. This tells me he um, is able to look at what he sees, um, get it in his mind, make it his own way, and put it on paper. At school, he sat quietly at his desk, but his big hands were always busy. Make a picture for us, Horace, his classmate said, and Horace did. His pictures made people happy except when he made some next to his spelling list. That made the teacher mad. But Horace couldn't stop drawing. Pictures just come to my mind, and I tell my heart to go ahead. Looking at these pages, um, it shows he gets a lot of attention from his classmates, and obviously his classmates thinks he is a very good drawer and, and asks him to draw more. So he gets confidence from hearing his... Um, classmates give him compliments and ask him to draw and on the next page it says he couldn't stop drawing he loved artwork so much and my favorite quote pictures just come to my mind and I tell my heart to go ahead um, he doesn't have any guidelines any rules he just paints and draws what he sees 